All right, we are gonna put an LED. We're gonna replace this little piece of paint with a full-size five millimeter LED light. And so first thing to do is drill a hole. And uh, I've already kind of test fitted it to make sure if it'll clear. You know, once the pie's in there, will I still be able to wire it? And I think it should be fine. It'll be close, but it'll be fine. I'm gonna drill um, down in, so hopefully maybe it's a little cleaner on the front side. And I'm not going to go too fast because I don't want to break this. Alright, cool. Alright, now let's see if this is going to go through. Okay, so not quite big enough. We're gonna go up to three sixteenths here. Oh, sweet, perfect. Let's go ahead and cut this shorter. We got positive and negative over here. I'm gonna leave positive a little longer. Again, we're gonna need a uh, a black and a. I'm gonna use gray and maroon for this one. Or actually, I have brown, brown and white. I'm gonna go white as the positive and brown as the negative. It doesn't matter what colors you use; you just need to know which ones which for your own reference. All right, and now we need to get this pie in there. I think I gotta put the pie in actually first, then put this in. All right, we got it in, and it actually has to kind of go through the GPIO pins there a little bit. Um, but with this case, it does have a fan, so the way it's going to mount, uh, I need to screw it in to the screw holes. All right, and now we're gonna go for, so for positive, we're going on the fourth pin. For negative, we're going on the, the pin here. We kind of tuck those wires down or trim them if we want to. And then we have the fan cable as well. So it goes um, for the fan, we're going to go red and then black. So red and then black like that. It's now wired in the ground. You got the positive there. These LEDs are going through the GPIO. We got our fan all hooked up there. So it's going red, black. It's going positive, negative, positive on the back row. And there you have it. We're going to close this up and uh, screw it in. All right, there you have it. We now have the Tiny Tendo 64 case with working fan and an LED light. And don't forget, the cartridge. <laughs> no, I just haven't glued it on yet, but there's a cartridge, you can put any kind of sticker you want on there, graphic. So pretty cool. We're gonna test that in just a moment. All right, so once you boot up your system, go ahead and go into RetroPie. Then you go into Raspi Config in the RetroPie menu. So just take a second to get over here. And then you're gonna go over to Interfacing options number five, and then uh, go ahead and uh, move your D-pad over to the right, which will bring you over to select, and go ahead and click in. Once you're in there, go down to P6 serial, enable or disable. You want this enabled, so again, go to P6, hit the right on the D-pad, go ahead and click in. Would you like to log in? Yes. Serial enabled. Great. And at this point, you're going to shut down because we're going to go ahead and hook up our LED. So it doesn't matter whether you, sh you don't want to reboot. You want to go ahead and get out of here and then hit start, quit, shut down system. And then we're going to go back to our pie. You're going to hear the fan boot on and we should see an LED light as well. Boom. There we go. We got our LED there. Let's check this out.
And there you have it. We now have our working LED tiny Tendo 64 case. Sweet stuff. Working fan. I don't know if you can hear the fan right now. And uh, we're rocking the F710 controller. We should just be able to, once this pairs up in a second, you usually have to press something. There we go. Now we're paired up. And uh, we can play some of our favorite. Well, we got a Nintendo 64. Let's see what we got in here. Here we go, people. Yeah! Oh, that's Bray. Okay. That's how we look behind us. Get on these banks. Pretty rich. Oh! Man, that cart was rebuilt pretty quickly. Nitrous Turbo, let's go! Man, Donald Duck's working uh, goofy pretty dirty over there. Can I hit him? Oh man, Goofy's gonna get it if he keeps this up. Second. So there you have it, Nintendo 64 Tiny Tendo case with working LED. It's that easy. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys on the next one.